Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth from Handy Quilter. I have three new hopping feet to show you. They come as a set, three different colors. So we have a blue, kind of an orange, and a yellow. These are called Echo Feet. This small size is a 3 8 inch size. The next size is a half inch, and the larger size is a 3 quarter inch. So, as your needle goes down in the center of your hopping foot, your normal hopping foot is a quarter inch from the needle out to the edge of the hopping foot. By adding these rings, now I have three-eighths of an inch, one-half an inch, and three-quarter inch hopping, or, uh, space. So as I'm quilting using a ruler, that's the spacing I would get using a straight line. So let's go to the machine and see how this works. First of all, we have to change to, from our regular foot, from our ruler foot to this. So let's go on and change that out. I've attached a 3 8 inch hopping foot onto my, knee, or, uh, my presser bar. And the one thing I want to show you is these, this is the 1 half inch. And these are not, they don't come off, okay? They are glued on so that it stays right there. So we don't have a ring that maybe hops up and down as far as getting loose, it is attached for you. So what I'm going to do, I've got my ruler base on, and I'm going to use a straight line, or straight edge ruler. I'm gonna place my uh, ruler right up against that line that I've stitched, and then we'll stitch that first line out. And you can see the difference with a uh, 3 8 inch. So we're gonna go ahead and just stitch that down. And then as I move over, I'm going to move my ruler over, kind of move that over there, up, slide it over, and back down. Okay, so you can see these are a little bit larger than a uh, quarter inch as the normal hopping foot would be. And this is a nice channel when you want to create a ridge around a design. So now what I want to do is I actually want to change out this foot, clip our threads out of the way, go to the larger, the half inch foot, using my hex screwdriver, take this off, lift that out, go ahead and put that back in there and tighten that up. I've changed my machine to a cruise now. Before I had precision, I actually like it in cruise at a very low cruise. And you'll kind of see the difference in the way the needle behaves. So I'll go ahead and bring up my bobbin thread. Loosen that tension just a little bit. Looks like it's pulling up. Now I'm going to stitch a straight line along there. Slide that over. Slide that over. Okay, now you can see the difference from here, 3 8 inch, 1 half inch. So a little larger channel. Now let's go ahead and take this one out. Clip my threads. Loosen my tension a little. I'm seeing I'm having a little pull up there and we don't want that. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this foot out to the three-quarter inch and you'll see a big difference with that compared to the very first one that we put on. Tighten that up. The nice thing about these feet is you can use any ruler. So I've got some circle rulers here, some oak or oak oval ruler. So we can use any of these rulers. It just gives me a larger um, distance 
from the needle to where I maybe want that to, to be. So go ahead with this one. Let's get our threads out of the way. You can see a bigger difference. Look at the difference from this 3 fourths down to the 3 eighths. So again, we can go ahead and walk our way over. Now, if I want a full inch, I can walk my ruler over so that I take that first quarter inch from the ruler. So let's do that. Line up that quarter inch along the stitching. Walk that over. Let's give it an inch and a half and you'll see the difference. By using my markings on my ruler, let's move these out of the way, we'll go back and do the normal size that this ruler, and you can see a half an, or an inch and a half, an inch, this is your three uh, quarter inch. So the different sizes that you can get by having these three different hopping feet. Now let's take this and you can see if I were to make this, I'm not going to actually stitch it out, but if I were to make this, this, this uh, distance between uh, here and here is four inches as it's stitched. But if I were to add this, I would add three quarters of an inch outside of here three quarters of an inch outside of here. So you can use a smaller template and get a bigger result. I decided to go ahead and stitch this out so you could see how this worked with the arc template. Let's put our three feet back there. How fun is that? Three new echo feet ready for you to start quilting. Enjoy, have fun.